That's why it's so important to reinvent chemistry, to go for a linear process to a circular chemistry, where molecules are pro and processes are designed from the beginning, so they're used, reuse and recycle is much more easy. I'm doing catalysts, uh, I'm doing materials that accelerate reactions and do things like, for example, transforming CO2 into solar fuels or um, added value catalysts and materials. So catalysis is used in 90% of chemical processes because it allows us to do more of what we, do, of what we want and less uh, byproducts and waste. So it's critically important from Fighting climate change, to have clean water, chemistry brings the new fertilizers, the new catalysts that are going to transform CO2 into valuable products. Uh, we want to transform also the way we produce energy, so we need new fuels. We need also new batteries, new materials that will allow us to uh, store energy. So all of that has to do with materials, with elements, with minerals, at the end of the day, with chemistry. And in doing so, we produce waste and also we produce gas emissions. That's why it's so important to reinvent chemistry, to go for a linear process to a circular chemistry, where molecules are pro and processes are designed from the beginning, so they're used, reuse and recycle is much more easy. So my holy grail will be that not only scientists, not only preaching to the choir, but policy makers and industry will be engaged in this big adventure of using science as a problem solver for the sustainable development goals. Scientists can bring the solutions, but that's not enough. We need the political will, we need the chemical industry. So my wish is that this international year is going to be a convener for all the key stakeholders to work together to a more sustainable future.